Hello and Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Ali and today I'm going to be showing you how to prevent duplicates data entry when you're entering data using user form. So how can we do that using user form or, or sorry using VBA. So let's begin. First I'm going to be showing you an example really simple example on our left we have years like 2014 2015 and 2010 2050 these are the years and this is our user form when we enter something like 2015 it's gonna say a duplicate exists in the database and when we enter something like that doesn't exist in the database like 22,000 doesn't exist so it's gonna actually add that 2000 in here pretty simple huh so let's get started first of all I'm gonna come to a new sheet we're gonna enter months January and we're gonna drag this down to 20 now this is our area of working I'm gonna say alt F11 and we're gonna get rid of this this is our previous code and now we're gonna add a new user form the user form will be really pretty simple but you can have really awesome user form I'm gonna have a really simple one because it needs only simple example for this and we're gonna say click or add data. now what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be double clicking in here and first we we're going to be uh, searching for duplicates okay so we're going to start with if condition if and we're going to say application dot a worksheet function dot count if And what we do uh, where do we want to count so what is the range we, uh, which we want to count we want to count uh, I'm gonna make it really pretty easy a by a means this first column okay so we have to say it's a range because it's a range and uh, in this range what value do you want to count I want to count uh, the value in me dot text box one so the value in the text box I want to count it how many times that value is repeated uh, okay greater than zero if this value is greater than zero means if it exists the there is some January in here it's more than one repeated so it it's been repeated two times then message box duplicate exists in the database when we enter the data uh, we're gonna try and uh, delete that data means clear the data we're gonna say me dot text box one the dot, uh, dot value should be equal to nothing okay so it should be clear and we're gonna say exit sub as we have if condition we're gonna say and if okay so if a duplicate exits is gonna same message is gonna give us a uh, sorry it's gonna give us a message box saying duplicate exists in the database and it's gonna then clear the text box for me to enter some value again and it's gonna exit so means it's not gonna continue now you're gonna put else in here and do your stuff or without else you can start your stuff I'm gonna add else because like come on I want to complete the if condition fully so I'm gonna say if range even dot end 
xl down dot offset I want to offset one row not column dot value equals me dot text box one dot value and we are gonna say me dot text box one dot value sorry equals nothing okay I'm gonna come back to this basically what it's saying is it's saying that go in here then then say control down then offset one step down and put this value in here okay the value I entered okay so I'm gonna say save it but I don't want to save it so it's up to you then just run this code now we have our user form what we're gonna say is first we're gonna check for duplicates we're gonna say January it's gonna say duplicate exits in the database because there are two Januarys it detects that duplicate exists whether it goes through all of it or just sees the first one of course it goes through all of it because it wants to count how many are there so it, it will count uh, it will uh, count that there are two of them so it's gonna say duplicate exists or we're gonna say uh, we can okay we can do side like it says there are two duplicate in here or two duplicates exist in the database something like that but let's just work on this now what if I add something that doesn't exist in here of course these are all month so I can't add extra month there are no months I'm gonna say love is bad as ha as bad I don't know what it means it means something maybe so love is bad at as bad so it exists as because it figures out that it doesn't exist in here so it's gonna add it let's try something else uh, we're gonna say uh, I hate to wait okay I hate to wait and it exists that Okay guys, thank you very much. If you have any question regarding this story or other, make sure to put it in the comment box below. Tada and see you again.